We're ready for this. Uh, it's controversial. Oh, shit. This, this poem is controversial. It's called... Are you guys ready for a controversial... Well, it's not that controversial. You've heard it before. Black Lives Matter Too. That's the name of this poem. I know. I'm sending out uh, sparks of electricity. Not everybody can handle it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my perspective on the issue. Hmm? I was expecting like a taco versus burrito kind of thing. Is that controversial? I'm from California, so we do burritos. That's, See? Yeah, that's yeah. an issue. Okay. It wasn't until I came out here, I discovered barbacoa and, and breakfast tacos. And it's pretty dope, I think. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this poem. It's fun. And this poem, okay, the reason I'm reading it is because this is the... Uh, I just released a little video of it, so you can check it out on my YouTube at Kenyo HQ. It's pretty cool. I recorded it. I don't professionally record a lot of poems, but I did this one. So I'm gonna try to read it how I recorded it so you can like have a deja vu moment when you listen to it tonight. After you go home and you Google me and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kenyo HQ. It's brainwashed. Okay. Black Lives Matter too. I hate to say it, but I told you so. I didn't fit in, but that was 20 years ago. Now that you're grown and you've just begun to feel the off-balance weights holding the world out of place, I hate to say it, but you're late. I've been jaded long before Black Lives Matter because my life didn't matter. Sitting in class, unable to do the assignments as I was stuck once again contemplating a more just society. Police lights are perfect for the... Okay. I've seen whole mountains move past me apathetically, not caring, even as I'm staring at a 60 mile an hour indie window flick with my eyes wide and bleary. What I'm saying is that I've been wondering when you would bring back my girls long ago. I've seen a thousand lonely stares and limping eyes paired up with too many half-lit smiles. I'm sorry if I'm laughing at this funeral, but I can see the dead man and he's just as free as me. We both unlocked infinity and he's dancing the running man, holding hands with uncles and aunts, wearing diamond sewn, angel sewn, <laughs> diamond encrusted pants. Yo, I'm sorry if I seem to not have much steam when approaching the issues of today. It's just I've been dwelling in the dark for so long and my protagonistic arc is so grown when I hear you grumble and moan, I feel like a dad whose son just figured out there's no Santa Claus. I know it hurts. I know you thought your wishes had a universe all to their own, but give it 20 years moving at the speed of man and you'll see that reality isn't fair and none of your regrets ever get sat up and resurrected and the enemy of your soul will steal more than you've expected, but there's solid gold in the middle of your courage, a flaming sword, a soldier's furnace. They killed my father 40 years ago, shot him in the back 10 times and stole his dreams, but still he rose to make my bread. But every time I look in his eyes, I see it again, just like my son will see it in mine. He'll see the hunger and how over time my vision went unfed, but it won't be sadness. Every holy generation to come will know the importance of being better, trying harder, loving a little more, gathering seconds and leftover opportunities and building a damn fine castle on the rocks of our faith. I hate to say I told you so because there isn't any time. Sure, it's all much harder than you would expect it be. And guess what? The deeper you look, the darker it gets. But don't lose faith, because if the darkness gets you too, I'll have one less soldier to laugh with. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been really fun rocking with you. Give it up for Mr.